everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. I'm so happy you found me. I have a Dollar Tree Easter DIY for you today. In today's crafting adventure, I'm going to show you how I made this adorable bunny butt wall decor. I've had several of my subscribers ask me to come up with a craft using the new bunny wreath form that you can pick up from Dollar Tree. Let me show you how to make this adorable bunny butt wall decor. For today's craft, you're going to need one of the new bunny wreath forms that you can pick up from Dollar Tree. Uh, it is a floral garden product and it is 17.3 inches in diameter. And there is the pose. You will also need a piece of cardboard or a piece of the foam board that you can also pick up at Dollar Tree. Or if you have just a piece of cardboard um, that's big enough that you can trace it out, that's what you want to do. You want to trace it out and cut it out. Now if you have a really good pair of scissors, you can use scissors on the foam board. But what I find works best is a nice, sharp utility knife. Okay, and then I put an X so that I make sure I get it the correct way because if I try to glue it on the wrong way, it is not going to line up properly. So that's why I put an X so I know which side to glue it to. Okay, so once you have your foam board or your cardboard cut out, go ahead and set that aside. You're also going to need one of these really soft automotive chamois that you can pick up in the hardware section. Now the chamois have uh, two different sides. This side is very short and compact. And then the other side is much longer and fluffier. Now this is the side that I want out because we're trying to make it look like a bunny. So I want that longer, fluffier side. Now one is perfect to completely cover your frame, which is what you're looking for. So make sure that the side that you want is facing down. Okay, so what we're gonna do is basically just kind of cut this and glue this onto the frame. And then uh, I'm gonna leave the bottom section here open because we're also going to stuff this area a little bit. And uh, I need to get everything kind of glued down and figure out how much extra material I need for that. So we're going to start up here where the ears are. The first thing that I'm going to do is kind of cut down the center here where the two ears are to make sure that I get enough to wrap on either side. And then I want to stop about a half inch before I get to this ring right here. And then what you want to do is from that point, cut to the corner on this side and cut to the corner on this side. That way that little piece you can glue straight down and then that gives you enough to glue around. So let's pack that little piece down first. Just add a small amount of hot glue. If you need to, this is a really good tool. It's a silicone scraper spatula made by Betty Crocker. You can find it over in the kitchen section. This works excellent for gluing any hot glue because if anything gets on this, once it dries, it just wipes off. And it also helps so that you don't burn yourself, which does happen. I'm just adding glue right onto the wire and folding over the fabric. Okay, so I have all this excess fabric, so I'm just going to trim that off. I 
don't want it bulky in the back. Okay, so I glued the inside on this side and I'm going to do the same thing to this side because I want to make sure that the fabric doesn't shift and I have enough to cover my ears. Around the bottom that's going to be much easier, but because the ears are shaped differently, I need to make sure I have enough here and here to cover those areas. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing all the way around and just slowly trim and fold over and then remove any excess fabric. You only need about a half an inch to fold over to make sure that that stays secure. I have both of my ears fully attached and I have all the way down to the last section here. Now the reason why I didn't do it all the way around is because I need to leave a little bit of slack here because I want to stuff it so it's not real flat from the front. So I'm very loosely going to fold this over and glue it down so I have some excess room there to stuff it. Now you can see I can stuff a little bit of stuffing in there because from the front it looks very flat, but if it has a little bit of stuffing that's going to look better. So just double check all the way around, make sure that's fully secure. If you need to, glue it to itself, the material, if it comes up, because uh, it doesn't normally like to stick to metal, the hot glue, so you need to add a little bit so that it will also glue to the fabric. And then just trim, get it nice and clean. So that looks nice. So your backing will lay nice and flat. And then this will glue on top and then we'll stuff. Now I keep all my old pillows so that I can use the stuffing and that's what I'm going to use. This is just a cheap old pillow that I had, but it's perfect for this. I think that will be plenty. As a crafter, you get to the point to where you're afraid to throw anything away in case you might be able to use it for craft. <laughs> At least that's the way it's turning out for me. <laughs> okay, so you want to line this up. And what I'm going to do is I want to get my ears glued on before I start to put any stuffing in because I want to make sure that this lines up correctly. Now remember, I put the X so I know which way goes towards. Once that's done, then I can start hot gluing and I'm just going to run hot glue all the way around the edge and get it glued on the ears. I want to leave the area down here on the bottom so I can lift it up and put my stuffing in. Okay, so I have my ears completely glued on and I have put in all of that stuffing. And I've made sure that it's nice and full. I like that shape. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish gluing down my backing. And I'm just slowly going to work my way, adding a bead of hot glue all the way around and getting that attached. 
My base is fully secure and I have a nice little puffy bunny here. I also went ahead and twisted and made a loop out of a pipe cleaner and hot glued it on. That's what I'm going to use to hang it. Go ahead and set this aside. You also need one of the Dollar Tree's bunny tails. And they've carried these for the past several years. Let's go ahead and take the clip off and trim off the uh, tag here. Now, if you cannot find one of the bunny tails in your store, Dollar Tree also sells over in the Crafter Square section, also in the Easter section, large white pom-poms. You could use one of these. You also will have several scraps left over. Uh, you can take one of the larger pieces and then stuff in the smaller, glue it together and make a little tail that way. So you have a lot of different options of what you can do for the tail if you can't find one of those. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and attach my tail and I don't want it too low because he's supposed to be running. So I'm gonna put it about here, about two inches up. Just add a good amount of hot glue so he stays. Cute already. Next, you're gonna need a package of these really cute little paw prints. They are felt paw prints and you get 10 pieces in a package, which is a great deal. Of course, you're going to need two of them for his feet. So just play with it for a little while until you decide exactly where you want, you know, how you want his feet angled, how high, not too high, not too low. I'm thinking something along this. Very cute. Once you get your placement and you're happy with that, go ahead and hot glue those down. Doesn't that look absolutely adorable? You can go ahead and set this aside. We're gonna work on the bow now. I have a little bit of this really pretty pink ribbon and this really pretty egg ribbon that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And this is brand new this year. This is the Offre brand. I know Walmart and Michaels also carries this brand. And this ribbon is one and a half inches. And then I'm also going to use this one that I also picked up at Dollar Tree. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Has all the right color tones in it. And this is five eighths of an inch at nine feet. You're also gonna need half a pipe cleaner. Now I have about 25 inches of the egg ribbon and 25 inches of my pink ribbon. And I want to start with the egg ribbon because this is what I want in the background. So I'm just going to find my center and then I'm going to make a loop. And I'm going to make a loop on the other side. You kind of fold it over like that. And you turn it over so your tails, both sides of the good side should be facing forward. Okay, so just go ahead and clip that. And we're gonna do the same thing with the pink ribbon, but we're gonna make the loops a little smaller. So again, find the center. Okay, 
hold the center and then make a loop. Take the other and fold it around the back and make another loop. And then just check, make sure your tails are the same, the loops are the same. Place that on top and clip. do this and I want two loops on either side of this with some tails. So I'm going to do my loops first. Good thing about this ribbon is it's nice on both sides. So I have my two loops and then I'm going to do it again. I do want some tails with that and I want double tails and I'm going to measure my tails at eight inches so I'm going to cut two pieces at eight inches find the center of those You want to put the tails underneath your bows here, your uh, these bows. We have everything stacked. You want to scrunch right down the center. Take your pipe cleaner, wrap it right around that center, and pull it to the back. a nice grip, pinch right at the base and twist. something isn't laying right go right up to where the pipe cleaner is grab it twist it and move it to where you want it that's why I like to hold on where your pipe cleaner is that way you won't pull anything too much okay once you get that fluffed you can go ahead and trim your tails I don't want my tails too long so my two larger ribbon, I'm going to cut them the same length. And I'm just going to cut them at an angle. And then with my smaller ribbon, I'm also going to cut the tails just at an angle. So you want to give that a couple good twists and then trim off your excess pipe cleaners. And then just push it down so it's nice and flat. Okay, so your bow should look something like that. Okay, so let's attach our bow. And I am just going to be hot gluing the bow on. You just need to decide 
how high you want it. Do you want it right where the ears are? Do you want it a little lower? So just play with it until you decide where you like it. I do like it right up at the top there. So that's where I'm going to glue it right here at the base of the ears. Add some hot glue there and get it placed. So just play with your bow until you get your ribbon to lay the way that you like. Now the final touch for this wreath I'm going to add one of these really pretty little eggs. Uh, you can get this egg garland at Dollar Tree. I'm only going to be using one and I'm going to be using one of the pink ones. Now if you can't find this garland at your Dollar Tree, you can always use their little foam eggs and use one of those. But I think that will look really pretty glued right in the center. And there you go, we are all done. I think my bunny butt wall decor came out absolutely adorable. Well, I hope you enjoyed my version of using the new bunny wreath form from Dollar Tree. I had so much fun coming up with this idea. Thanks again for stopping by. You know it's always a pleasure to see you. I hope everyone is staying happy, healthy, and strong. You have a great day, and I will see you next time.